Positioning editor, you want to be on Twitter just to listen to see who's interesting. So let me give you a couple of examples of, of what's on here. So when you see, uh, if you just go on to Twitter itself, you create a profile, you, you may have zero people following you, but you could follow a lot of people if you like. So uh, for example, here is Jenny Lee. Some of you might know there's a great byline in the New York Times, Jennifer 8 Lee, one of the classic bylines of all time. The 8, it's actually an 8, not a B. And she Twitters. And why does she Twitter? In part because she had a book called Fortune Cookie Chronicles. Some of you may have reviewed it about Chinese cooking, blah, blah, blah. And she used it to get more people listening to her and reading her. So let me click on this. She probably has a lot of fans. She's at the New York Times. And she's 1,600, follow she's 1600 followers. And she's 300 people she's listening to. And that's the key to this, is to find out interesting people and follow them. Once they, you find they're boring, you can unfollow them. And, and then you can see, so for example, anybody here write about food? Anybody? Food on occasion, OK? Ruth Reichel, some of you know her, editor-in-chief of Gourmet, longtime New York Times food critic, right? Restaurant critic, Twitters. And she Twitters really well. Now, remember we talked about rice and beans? I actually want to hear when Ruth is writing about her rice and beans and where she's eating it and new recipes. You know who else I read very closely? Mark Bittman. You may know his name. He's an excellent writer, um, <coughs> chef, and writer at the New York Times. Why are these people on Twitter? They're there because it's another platform for them. It raises their game, raises their profile. And you're saying, wait a minute, Ruth Reichel needs to raise her profile? What are you talking about? Because your work does not speak for itself anymore. Your traditional platform at the New York Times or any newspaper, magazine, Milwaukee Journal does not speak for itself. You have to participate in getting the stuff out there. So let's look at Ruth. So you might want to just write some of these down so you can follow them later. Jenny A. Lee, right? So I'm going to remove this and just put in Ruth Reichel. Once you find someone you like, you follow them and see who they're following. Uh, yesterday's uh, Sushi, okay, dinner at Mineta Tavern, packed, fun, delicious, great $26 burger, well, it should be, <laughs> marrow bones, kind of funky, Balthazar West. Okay, now, if you're in the town where this is, you want to know. If you're the owner of the restaurant, you want to know. This is, she is conveyed in 140 characters, everything that I would want to know about this restaurant. Do I need to read 400 or 800 words by her to go to that restaurant? No. And that's the other point. When people hear it's 140 characters, they say, oh my god. But look at the New York Times. Okay? I'm only using it because I say it. Not a single headline on here is 140 characters. Does that make sense to everybody? So 140 characters is actually not bad. Does that make sense? Okay. So you can follow. So find interesting people and follow her. How did I find Mark Bittman? I, follow, I went to Ruth Reichel's page and took a look at who she's following. And then look up here. She's following only 44 people. She has 2,800 followers. Right? So this is time she could have spent doing something else. Right? But she's doing it here. Alice Waters will be profiled on 60 Minutes this Sunday after Bernanke. Here's another profile. Right? So she's participating in this conversation. And that's what you keep in mind. Somebody really busy, somebody really famous, she's able to do this. She's able to carve out the time because she has been told or she has realized that this is useful. Now, there are bad ways to do this as well. Martha Stewart, you should follow her for a while. So her cat died or something. Some of you may know this. Like last week, her right? cat died or got lost? She's dog. Dog died. Cha-cha died. So because if she's not doing it from the heart, and if she's not doing it by herself, it's probably a team of, she has an army of uh, Twitterers. What happens is she wrote cha-cha died, and the next thing was, here's a great recipe for something. It was just not a way a human being would have done that. <laughs> Well, it's smart. Yeah, smart. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to say. Shree, we're coming towards the end. Yeah. I wonder if you could describe to the group how to put your link to a review we've written on your Twitter. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do that in a second. I'm going to I'm going to do that in a second. Let me just show you a couple of couple of things. Uh, here's a professor in Montreal named Arjun Basu. So you could write this down one word: author, editor, traveler, husband, dad, foodie, slightly mad. Okay. What he does is he creates something called Twisters. Twisters are 140 character short stories. So what? That's insane. 140 characters, he tells complete stories, or you know, essence of a story. If I were an editor, at a, a commissioning editor, or a literary agent, or something like that, I would sign this guy up, take his best 30, 40 stories, convert them from 140, do 140 character version of the story, and then 
three paragraph version or one page version of the same story and guarantee you people would buy it, right? And this is, so you, know, you can sit there and look at it. What happens with these things are these are ways in which you are raising your profile, raising your access, raising your visibility. She asked, how do you post? What you do is once you create an account on Twitter, just like on Facebook, you create the account and then you, it, it asks you, what are you doing now? That's the, that's the premise here. There's nothing else on, on, twi on Twitter. And you just type in, I just finished my, uh, my article about this book just came out. Here it is with a link. And then what you do is you go one more step and say, read my full collection of all my articles. Uh, give your website address. Does that make sense? So you do both. You're trying to be helpful and, and share and give information. The more information you give, the more people will see your work and, and follow your work. Yes? Is using Twitter basically depend on having some sort of mobile device? No. I you mean, could I mean, do it from a cell phone. You could do it from the web. You could do it. Could do Most it. people do it from the web. I mean, it's the really fanatics who are doing it on the cell phone. But you could just, <laughs> I bet you that professor isn't composing 140 characters. I bet he writing it out on a computer editing it down, and then cutting and pasting it into there. Yes? The thing I don't understand is like you put this thing on Twitter, and what if you don't have any followers? How right, that's the thing. You, you, build, you build the followers. So remember, Facebook was about keeping out the riffraff, right? Twitter is building followers who are riffraff if necessary, but getting the eyeballs. Remember, that's the currency. And I've got 60 seconds, but that's the currency. The eyeballs are critical. OK, guys, we've got to stop because we've got this great panel after this. So, Couple of things. If you're, if you believe you're a Twitter user, a power user, or can share tips, raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Around you, look around you. These are the people you find during lunch and the rest of the conference, and get their ideas. Ask them what they're follow, who they are, and follow them. Start simple. It's with all technology. It's the same way. Start simple, and you don't know where it's going to go, but it might go somewhere interesting. Sorry, I, I, she's going to kill me. Yeah. And just one thing this. Uh, I know that <clears throat> as book people, we you know we love the com comfortable chair, the great light, the, the isolation, and then the writing part. Of course, is about isolation and communication. Um, this stuff is actually quite crucial. Uh, uh, I, I my day job is as a professor on campus, and just like your experience, Facebook is a way to communicate with all my students now. Um, and we're in the business, actually, of also kind of replicating readers, right? We want to build ourselves so that we have community. Right. Um, I read something on the Neiman Fellowship blog right. the other day. This guy went to go do something with a group of high school students. And they don't pay for any of it, OK? If it's online and it's free, they'll read it. So one of the things that ostensibly we're trying to do is create readership. And this is now the way to do it. So Or a way to do it. I mean, a, not the a, a way, way to do a it. Way. But just as you're saying, it's, it's, most people aren't going to get the daily newspaper any longer because that's fading away. So we have to find another way of sure. creating And this audience. is, you know, like I said, this is our first meeting, guys. We'll be talking for a long time. A couple of links for you, besttweets.com. What they do is they collect the tweets of the month, tweets of the year, etc. So that's fun. And look at this. I love this tweet. And this is a great way to end. <laughs> okay, that person could have been 45 or 55 or 25, and it's the same principle. Okay? So my email address you all have, Sri at Sri.net. Uh, we're we're, we're going to take a little break here while the panel sets up. If you want to come up and give me a business card or I'll open up my laptop. You want to just write down your email address. I'll add you to my mailing list. But the most important thing is what I said before. It's great that you kept an open mind and listened through the whole thing. But the second half of keep an open mind is something people forget. What is the second half of the saying, keep an open mind? Use it. Don't let your brains fall out. <laughs> Very important. Just because some guy came and said Twitter this, Facebook that, blah, blah, blah. Don't get carried away. Find what works for you. Find the happy medium and use that. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.